Om Shanti. Today is your 138th day of your godly blessing. And God here tries to remind us that we should not just be somebody who remembers all the points of knowledge of what God has taught us in Brahma Kumaris. Taking spiritual knowledge, understanding it and then talking about it is very simple. It's just like when we were in the days of our school or college. Certain things which we never understood, we used to just mug it up. We used to just remember it as points. And we used to just go down in the examination hall and put it down, jot it down on the paper. It was very easy to do that. But God says that kind of habit or that kind of method will not apply over here because this is certainly about life-changing experiences. So Baba wants us to actually not just be somebody who remembers the points and just talks about the points, but to become that, to have that behavior of those spiritual points in our life. So let's see what Baba has to say over here. Baba says, may you be worthy and an image that grants vision and prove this by putting all the teachings into practice. That's what Baba wants to, us to do. And the first thing which we all of us struggle is that when we come into spirituality, we remember the points, we understand the knowledge, we become very knowledgeful. We think that we have got all the knowledge in the first couple of years. And then when situations arise, when test papers come, and when we are supposed to be in peace and happiness, and we are supposed to be quiet in silence, that's the time our anger comes out, our ego comes out, our jealousy comes out and that's where the real test paper comes and we realize that just remembering points is not going to help us. We have to become it. So Baba says, may you be worthy and an image that grants vision and prove this by putting all the teachings into practice. So let's go into the details. Baba says, the children who do not just keep the teachings in their intellects, like mugging it up, in the form of teachings but put them into practice and remain stable in the stage of embodiments of knowledge embodiments of love so let's say Baba has taught us that do not think about others negatively do not find faults in others if we stop doing that if we start looking at the good things in others that's when we become knowledgeful we become an embodiment of knowledge embodiments of love when we don't just love somebody when we want something out of them, but we are able to give them love in any situation and every situation, that's when we become embodiments of love. And embodiments of bliss means we do not need anything in our life, whether it's finances, it's comforts of the physical body, and many other things or appreciation from people. That's when we become somebody who becomes an embodiment of bliss. So those who put every point of knowledge into practice are able to remain stable in a point form. So Baba says you are a point of light. I am a point of light. But when your mind is going in too many directions because you have got the points of knowledge but you have not put those points of knowledge into practice. There is too much of knowledge in the mind. That's also another reason for the mind to become very unstable sometimes. You are just bouncing from one point of knowledge to another point of knowledge to another point of knowledge but not applying it just remembering it as a form of points that's when the mind doesn't become a point that means stable but Baba wants us to experience those points be in those stages of love embodiments of peace and knowledge apply that knowledge and make the mind stable that's when we are consumed by that point and we are in that state of being not just remembering the point but being love, being happiness, being peace, being powerful, being blissful. So God then says, It is easy to think about or speak about a point, but to become that and give that experience to other souls is to prove it that we are God's children. That is what it is to be worthy, to be called God's child and become an image that grants visions, visions to soul who come to understand that what is it that I need to do or be so as to be peaceful and happy and loving. So other souls, they see us rather than listening to us and change themselves. So this is what God wants us to do. He wants us to leave our old habits, which we have learned in our school or college, 
spirituality is not about learning the points or learning all the different shastras or mugging up all the shastras and all the verses of all the different religious scriptures it's about being it being in love being in happiness being an embodiment of it so i leave you with this beautiful vardhan which baba wants us to understand in depth and he wants us to change our ways of going about this knowledge so have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti Thank you.